Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I just want to do a quick um, run through on um, trimming the bed of the Fabricator Mini. So, um, trying to get the Z axis, it's kind of hard to find how, how you set this. It's a little bit different. In short, you have this screw that's right here if I get the camera over it's kinda of hard holding the camera and lights and everything uh, so, so this is a hex head screw which hits the uh, limit switch and uh, stops it so what you have to do is kinda of tip the the printer up on end adjust that screw in my case I had to adjust it down and then go back to the paper test so I'm gonna set the since I need my other hand I need I'll stop the camera and go back to the paper test. Okay, so we've tipped the printer back up, and you can see I still have a lot of slot. I mean, the paper is not even grabbing the head. Uh, and this is just a standard uh, uh, piece of printer paper. So uh, we're going to have to adjust that script. Now, one of the important things to do when you adjust this, you have to issue another G28 for it to home itself and then uh, do the test. So I'm going to have to tip the printer back up on end and, and readjust it. So in short, you have to do this until, uh, you know, obviously this, this paper is tight. So I'm going to go back and flip it over and then do the, my adjustments, and then I'll come back once I have that done. Okay, so we're back. So we now have, uh, we've set it now where this, you get the paper in here, this piece of paper makes it underneath rather nicely in, so... Um, what we're going to do is try going for a print now. So uh, it was actually quite a ways off. And it, the nice thing, and I'm going to see if I can't build the dial indicator, if I get my finger in here, maybe to go in here or something or right on these rails that I can slip inside of here as I back up a little bit um, to do bed adjustments. Uh, and as I see it, there's no way to really trim this bed. You really just depending upon it being level with inside itself being pinned to this case so uh, there aren't any springs or anything that trim this out so it's just a matter of where the uh, Z height is you can kind of see it go through its setting now again one of the things that you have to make sure you do is do another G28 um, to uh, uh, get it to reset its position after you do it because really you're adjusting where it stops to the uh, uh, yeah, so it seems to be going down good now. I'm just kind of wondering why it's going in that section. Looks like I might have to make some adjustments. Why? Well, that seems to be working. I'm uh, printing out a B, so I think I might have to adjust the. Um, so I'm using Octoprint to do this, so this is kind of different. So I'll see what it comes out, and uh, I might have to adjust a little bit of the flow. So anyways, I just wanted to do a bit. It took me a little bit to figure out where the um, adjustment for that screw was and how this bed trims out, uh, because there are no springs or adjustments on the bed itself. So anyways, wanted to share that uh, in case you got one of these and you're looking for how to adjust it. Um, in short, it's that screw up underneath that I was showing, and it's adjusted with an Allen wrench. So, hopefully, this helped. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Oop, I get my thumb in the frame there. Big fat thumb. If this helped you out. Greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, and again, watch. Uh, I got the Octoprint working, so I'm going to be doing a series on that uh, coming up pretty shortly once I get the bugs worked out. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.